It is time for me to appoint the school's new head boy. And after much careful consideration, I have decided upon Fauntle Roy, Headmaster Junior, from the Infants. Congratulations, son. Dad is proud of you. <laughs> Fauntle Roy needs a wee wee big one. Excellent. Our new head boy is already showing great leadership and decision making skills. But wait. Fauntleroy can't possibly use the ordinary boy's toilets like all the common pupils. As head boy, he should have his own private solid gold urinal to do his wee-weeing into. Uh, my amazing robot companion will provide you the uh, head boy with a luxurious golden executive love med matter. Hi! I'm Barbie! I love you very much! Third, using King Rip's armpit to prop up a mitted not worth his mouth, We'll force him to drink a full bottle of pure alcohol from the science labs. <laughs> the resulting river damage has given Mr. Snodworthy jaundice, which has turned his face a lovely yellow gold color. Oh god. Oh, I'm dying. Next, with a helping hand from Tim Rips, we'll whip this in a red skirt and give me the dog worthy and I full of her knickers. <coughs> Just causing his jaw to drop down to the floor. Well done, young Taylor. A splendid golden urinal, fit for a head boy. Oh. <laughs> now Fauntleroy will be paraded around the school by his prefects. And everyone must cheer and shower him with party poppers. Oh, Dret! We've run out of party poppers! No worries. I'll just attach a lid of tin with soup can to his armpit and then ram it in and out of Mr. Dodworthy's bum, dicing up his intestines into tiny confetti sized bits. <laughs> 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 Next, we force Mr. S to wick the rancid remains out of my electronic pulse curried baked beans tin. <coughs> Hurrah! Mr. Snodworthy is explosively farting out colourful fragments of intestine like a giant party popper. Later. It's break time. Where's you to the tuck shop, Tim Ribs? The head boy has implemented emergency measures and commandeered the tuck shop for himself and his prefects. <laughs> oh, boo. Shortly, in the playground. Now Fontulroy is rounding up all the school intellectuals and interning them in the bike sheds. He's depriving me of my best pupils. This head boy will have to go. Well, we'll set a trap for him. Look, their mother has left his spectacles on the window so We'll just borrow them for a moment. <laughs> What's this? Another specky swap wearing glasses. Intellectuals are the enemies of the school. There's the spectacle to leave this. <laughs> Make protest if we kill me again. Fauntle Roy? Ooh, uh, How dare you break my specs! I'll turn your ass, you little git! <laughs> well done, Taylor. I hereby declare your remarkable electronic chum to be the new head boy. <laughs>